femininity is something that is deeply unique to each and every woman. We all have a different version of it. We all have different ways of expressing it. However, there are specific things that you can do to create a little container so that your femininity can flourish in the way that it wants to. In this video, I am going to be sharing five morning habits that are going to help you enhance your feminine energy. If you'd like to learn more about cultivating self-confidence and creating a feminine-centric lifestyle, then make sure to subscribe and check down the description box below for my free masterclass, Wearing Confidence. I'm Silvana and I'm the founder of Venusian Woman, a movement that seeks to reignite feminine wisdom that every woman carries within through the practice of unconditional self-love. The conversation around habits is one that I hated for many years because I did not like having habits. For me, they felt restricting, even though I knew I knew that they actually create more freedom. So for a very long time, I was just in this super flowy energy. Every day was different. Every day I was doing different things. Uh, so I didn't have a morning routine. I didn't have anything. And what I found out and what I realized during this experimental ex experimental time of my life was that I in fact did have habits I was just not aware of them so they looked a little bit disorganized but at the end I just found that there was a specific structure that actually helped me um, create more of that feminine centric lifestyle now what is a feminine centric lifestyle it's a way of living where you are honoring your feminine nature of primarily this is difficult to do because in the world we have an over idealization of our masculine skills and our masculine sides the feminine kind of always comes second so this is an intentional way of choosing the emotional nature and choosing our feminine nature as the main focal point of life and then our masculine habits and behaviors support that that feminine energy so in the creation of a lifestyle we're creating a life right and a life breaks down into years and then the years break down into months and then the months break out into days so if you're able to create space for your feminine energy each and every day your life will become centered on that feminine energy. So there are five morning habits that I highly recommend if you want to create a feminine-centric lifestyle. Habit number one, prepare the night before at least one thing that you want to look forward to in the next day. What we're doing there is inspiring the energy of seduction and desire. So if there's something that you can prepare for yourself the night before that you can look forward the next day, you're starting off your day in this very arousing energy. Um, it doesn't have to be like anything very complex. It's not like you're going to make yourself a buffet and have a gigantic breakfast with all of the different things. It can be something as simple as leaving yourself a little Hershey's kiss to have in your as a mid-morning snack. Or it can be a new outfit that you wear. Or it can be a perfume, a new perfume that you're going to try. Something that's going to help you and like bring you in into the following day with a lot more enjoyment and playfulness. So I know it's morning habits, but technically this will be the night before. So just leave a little gift for yourself. Habit number two, make your bed. Yes, this is important for a feminine centric lifestyle because we are moving energy and the femi like feminine nature is passive at its core and masculine nature is active at its core. Everything's a spectrum, right? So we're looking here like the two polarities. Feminine energy needs movement like it needs to have movement because if not it tends to stay too passive masculine energy is too active so it tends to need passivity and and slowness in order to get a little bit more balance naturally i am a masculine woman <laughs> that's why i created this entire movement of the venusian woman so i've had to do a lot of practices to calm down all the masculine like action energy and create more space for the receiving energy so making your bed every morning is creating some movement but it's also cleaning the space 
So we are in that we are practicing like in a masculine way. We are doing something that is action oriented, but it is creating a lot more space because visually, whenever we enter into a room or even whenever we leave the room, we know how we left it behind, right? And whenever a bed is not made, the entire bed is occupied because there is this order occupying the bed. The moment that you make the bed and it becomes a flat surface and it's nice and it's adorned, it becomes harmonious. And in harmony, there is space. So this would actually, it's more of a mental exercise and this habit is actually going to help you feel more spaciousness, which is what the feminine needs in order to exist, space. Habit number three, do at least one body center practice. I'm not telling you go work out and live heavy for 45 minutes. No, no, no. There are days that I don't feel like moving a single finger. And what I do is that I just do an inversion. I get up and I stretch my hamstrings and I just invert my body. I try to touch my my toes and I just stay there. That, that, um, movement is helping me wake up my body and whenever the body is awake the body wants to experience life wants to have sensorial experiences and that is what this venusian energy gives us is the ability to experience life through our senses if the little light stretch doesn't work and the workout doesn't work then dance jump like do something with your body think of it as you are awakening the house of your feminine power that's what you're doing. So something to make sure that you're not stepping out of bed into your mind. You have to descend into the body. That's extremely important for all women to do because feminine energy is about rooting down and masculine energy is about ascending up. So in order for us to root down, we have to be very present in our body. That's the importance of waking up the body. So again, you don't have to have a habit of having a crazy workout if you don't want to, or maybe you do. See, this is where the, the, it gets so much fun to play with feminine energy because there are seasons in my life where I wake up and I work out hard, like I am lifting heavy weights. And there are seasons in my life where I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna touch my toes oh, and feel the stretch. And that's it. So you find a way that it works for you. But the, the foundational piece here is that I am connecting with my body. I am waking my body up and I am interacting with it first thing in the morning. Have a number four. Get ready for the day. Even if no one's going to see you, you don't have a single Zoom meeting, you're not going to leave your house, make sure you get ready for the day. Let's say it's a pajamas all day day. Then wear your pretty pajamas and put on a hydrating lotion. Make the visits to the mirror enjoyable because every time you go into a mirror, you interact, like you are observing your physical vessel. Make that experience enjoyable. Again, you don't have to get all dolled up and like get mascara and do the hair and all the things. It's about like the little things that makes you feel appreciation for your physical vessel. That is very important. If you connect with your body, you are connecting with your feminine power. So allowing yourself to get creative in your expression that is not only dolled up or absolute neglect, but there are many colors of you is really going to help you change your day and therefore change your life. I know I know with the whole um, work from home thing and like post COVID world, a lot of people are not even leaving their house ever. Um, I, I also work from home, so I don't, I don't have any need to leave, but I make sure that I am ready for the day every day. And everything has an exception. There are days that you might not, and that's okay as well. But the whole beautiful thing about habits is that once you get them in place and once your brain follows that and receives that as a habit, then you're just doing that automatically and you don't even have to think about it. And lastly, fifth habit is nourish yourself whatever that means to you. Again, I'm not saying have a gigantic breakfast because maybe you don't like eating breakfast, but if you don't like eating breakfast, then make make sure that you have at least a nourishing beverage. Make sure that there is something that you are nourishing your body with, anything. Why is this important? Well, 
when we as women are feeling well nourished, then we actually become channels. We don't just become vacuums that takes everything and sucks the life out of things. When we feel nourished, it is our natural desire to want to nourish others. So the more that we are allowing ourselves to receive and we're giving ourselves that necessary nourishment, the more energy and space that we have internally to begin recycling whatever comes into our life. So it is a way of priming and preparing their body for what happens energetically whenever we are running on our feminine energy, which is whatever I receive, I cultivate and I give it back. It's 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 like a, it's a channel it's a vehicle that allows energy to move and be transformed in that movement so getting into a habit of I nourish myself first is going to create a underlying habit that first I put on my oxygen mask and then I help the other and that is extremely important for women we sometimes we tend to let go of ourselves whenever we're taking care of other people and that is the worst thing that we can do for our feminine nature and also for the other people because it's not fair whenever we are over giving of ourselves and then we are resenting others for whatever they're receiving. So it's very important for us to first take care of us. So then that then we first take care of ourselves and then we can take care of other people. You come first. So make sure that you are nourishing yourself. So to summarize, have a number one prepare the night before and leave a little gift of surprise so you can receive the day with enjoyment and pleasure. Have number two, make your bed no matter what. Just make the bed. It's gonna, it's gonna make you feel so much better and eventually it'll just be an automatic thing. Have number three, do at least one body center practice. This does not include meditation, okay? This is a body center centric practice. Have a number four, Get ready for the date and make your visits to the mirror enjoyable. And lastly, have a number five, make sure that you are nourishing yourself first thing in the morning. So these are my top five morning habits to enhance your feminine energy. Let me know if there is any other habits that you recommend that are go-tos for you and if you found this helpful. I'll see you guys next time.